grief is not just death related, you guys. It's um, we're grieving the life we used to have. We're grieving the normalcies and things that we took for granted. We're grieving not being able to breathe um, without wearing masks in public or joining together in some type of way or fellowshipping in some type of way. You are concerned. Um, and I don't, I'm, if I'm telling you, <laughs> The live I did last night, I was talking about the exploitation and the use and people trying to tie me into things. And for those of you who know, it was like, I didn't get on here yet last night to talk about the Walls scandal or Daryl Walls scandal. I didn't, he, he, you know, B. Slade Tone finally responds to Daryl. That's not what that live was about, but the way you're putting it out there is as if, that was the whole premise of why I was talking about the live. The live was about grief. Apology. I apologize. The same way you dragged me and apologize the same way. What's up? What? A sorry ain't gonna kill you. I didn't do you right, bro. I still have my stance. You could even have your same belief, but the way you went about that shit was foul. And I deserve an apology. They did it for Vanessa Williams after they stripped her of her crown for some old pictures of some shit that even have nothing to do with her winning the Miss America. But they use anything just to drag somebody down. But years later, she was vindicated. We're sorry we didn't go about that the right way. When I fuck up, I say sorry. And mean it. I wrote a song about it that everyone seems to be able to sing and identify with. But when I actually do say it not singing, now it's a problem. I told y'all, you know my other side. Y'all sang that with me. It was fine as long as I sang it. But when I said it, crucify him, kill him, get rid of him. We don't care if he's grieving. We don't care what he's lost. We don't care what his family's going through. We can care less how his family feels about how he's going through this because my family was getting dragged. At the same time, it wasn't just me. My family was embarrassed behind this shit. Just me being put on the spot and answering questions. And niggas literally just putting out all kind of shit about me because I'm just keeping it a buck and y'all doing the same shit and more. The fuck? And now you come around like, oh, yeah, he wasn't done right. How am I supposed to feel good about this? Grief is not just death related, you guys. It's um, we're grieving the life we used to have. <sighs> we're grieving the normalcies and things that we took for granted. <sighs> we're grieving not being able to breathe um, without wearing masks in public or joining together in some type of way or fellowshipping in some type of way. Grief is not just death related, you guys. It's, um, we're grieving the life we used to have. What's up, everybody? Hope all is well. Listen, I wanted to come on this morning because I told um, Thais them, good morning, everybody. When you come on, make sure you hit that follow button and subscribe. Listen, I wanted to come on this morning to just touch on a few things and just get it out the way. Um, after last night's show, um, I'm getting a whole bunch of inboxes because people are like, oh, what's going on? What's going on? Hey, Chanel. Um, and I'm, I'm concluding this matter right here. And I'm going just, I'm just, I'm to I'm I'm say this and then this is it. Um, so last night while we were doing the show, you know, B Slate is actually on my live, watching my live, and then commenting or making posts on this page as in reference to the Shade Room Church and myself. And to be honest with you, hey, Gigi, what's up? 
Paul, Nay, uh, Akeisha, Camille. What's up? Good morning, everybody. If I missed y'all, I'm sorry. I got to keep talking. So, um, you know, I always do this stuff. Every time there is something that comes out, I always talk about it. You know, this is not in reference to trying to gain clout off anybody. We just talk about stories and we just move on. Apparently, um, B. Slade wants to feel some type of way about it. And he wants to say, you know, somebody's using his name for clout or whatever the case may be. And I'm like, mm, that's not even the case at all, period. It was a story. This happened then. It very much so went hand in hand with what's going on now because the industry and the church did this back then. And apparently, you know, they're doing um, someone different, even though this is different times or whatever the case. Thank you so much. The show was amazing. Thank you. And so, you know, my thing was, it's, it's just like, it's ridiculous. So he's saying that, you know, his videos was about grief. Sir, these videos that I posted were not about grief. They were not about grief at all. They were actually about you having an issue. They're right there on the videos. You actually having an issue with the church and the gospel industry because of what they did to you. GG, yes, the nigga said clout. So, um, you know, he's out here. His so-called manager is in my inbox talking about privacy and all this other stuff. I'm like, this stuff was public. This stuff was public. We all were watching it. We felt some type of way because we agreed with what he was saying. Hey, you know, this is going on, blah, 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 blah. And all that yakety smackety. And then, you know, I had, I screen recorded it because I was like, dang, what he's speaking is facts because I just talked about him a couple of days prior to, and then he comes out with this video. I was like, shoot, let me just go ahead and screen record this and post it for the people so they can see it. And if you go to the video that's on the YouTube, everybody is showing him love. Say, oh my God, we love you. 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 We miss you. We love your music. We, we are so anointed. That's all that was. Honestly, that's all that was. And then he goes back and he tells me that I'm using his name for clicks and views. You're getting your highest ratings off my name. And I'm just like, okay, I'm like, sir, you, I just posted this on my smaller channel. Exactly, Alanda, exactly. We were taken up for him. We were taken up for him. I was taken up for him. I felt sorry for him because I felt, I was like, dang, you know, I can only imagine. And I'm like, even in his video, when you go back to the video, you guys, the video, he's feeling some type of way. The video was not edited. Okay. It was a straight stream. It was a straight screen record. And I had jumped on his live. Start recording it right then because one of my followers, a good friend of mine had sent it to me. I was like, well, shoot, let me go ahead um, and just record this and post it, whatever. And so it was never in a sense to gain something off his name. Sir, I've been doing these videos for years. Tam, I'm telling you, I'm the one made you relevant, sir. Anyways, we're not going to go there. <laughs> but it was not to claim anything, but it was just to, to make a story relevant. To make a story relevant and to remind the people that, hey, you know, while you guys are loving on this young man, rightfully so, hear me, because I got to jump over here on, I got to jump over here on um, Instagram in just a second, because some people in their feelings and caring on about this Daryl Walls video and uh, about this Tone stuff. I'm going to have to go ahead and just, you know, get on a different platform and say what I need to say. But I'm just like, I know, uh, Yafimi, I, I, I get that, baby, but it's just like, I got to clear myself because while this nigga is out here still bumping his dick suckers and carrying on and talking about I'm doing something wrong to him, I'm like, no one's doing anything wrong to you. 
people actually felt uh, felt sympathy and sorry for you. In his first video, he explained, you know, how he felt with the church and the gospel industry and everything like that. You get what I'm saying? He explained in the first video. And then he also talked about, you know, losing his parents and stuff like that. And again, people felt sympathy for him. And then on top of that, I have posted a clip on my Instagram of him saying, where's my apology? Where's my apology? All of this time I've been defending him. And then on the inbox, I really wish I could show y'all my the, uh, the video record of the inbox. But I just know it would just cause more controversy, right? And, I, and it's really not about that. And that's exactly what I was talking to him. I was talking to him and I was telling him, you're making this thing more than what it is. You're making this more than what it is. There's a generation of people that don't even know who you are. Y'all feel what I'm saying? There's a generation of people that don't even know who you are and you're out here and then you would say, oh, I don't want you to support me. I don't want you to sit up here and defend me. I, you don't have, I'm like, but you're crying on your video saying nobody's taking up for me. Nobody's there for me. But then actually people are out here saying that they love you and support you, the ones that remember you and all of this stuff. And then you're saying, I don't want your support. Well, daughter, which one is it? Which one is it? Okay. Which one is it? At the end of the day, you really want the love and the support. You really do. Does that take, and I, again, like I even said about Kim Burrell, her attitude can be nasty and all kind of stuff, but it doesn't take away from the fact that you are a vocal beast. Period. And the same thing with Tone. Even though the churches did whatever they did to you, it does not take away from that you are a vocal beast. You are a vocal beast. And it's like, you're coming at me because I decided to speak out for you. Thank you, Nehemiah. Thank you. He is very much so in his feelings. He is still dealing with the trauma. He is still dealing with all that stuff like that. You know what? COVID-19 got folks going crazy. Okay. COVID-19 got folks crazy, you know, and people are out here in their feelings and they're real touchy about stuff. And, you know, cause it's just, it's just really stupid. But like I said, don't come at me, right? Don't come at me and say that I'm trying to build a name off of you. I've been out here for a long time. Okay. That's beside the point, but because you are sensitive, right? I, I did the same thing. Y'all know I talked about Kevin Terry and it was all around the same thing. Kevin Terry, Deidre Cadden, all, uh, Kahari, all of these people that had some type of scandal to come out. I said, yep, they had a scandal, but the church still loved them. I mean, I'm sorry. They had a scandal, but you can't take away from that. They are amazing people and they made the church go up, praise, whatever, even though whatever their scandal was, period. And that's the uh, same thing with Tone. So it's just like, you know, all of this stuff is just like, okay, this is stupid. This is really stupid. So um, I just wanted to get on here. Right, Gigi, the buffoonery of it all. I just want to get on here this morning to just touch bases to that. Because last night, is it was the Four Kings. And, you know, we all got our opinion about it. And so in solidarity, I wanted to just touch on that because, again, for the ones of us who remember Tone, you know, we love it. We love his music, all of this stuff like that. And me even bringing it up made people go and research him. Okay. Made people... Trelina <laughs> made people go and research him 
And they were like, oh, my God, I love his music. Oh, my God. Because, like I said, again, it's a different generation that knows nothing about Tone, that knows nothing about B. Slade. OK, and that was the reason B. Slade for me even putting your old stage name in there. Because you're B. Slade now, but people also need to know who Tone is. Not the foolishness. Not the foolishness, but people need to know the artist. Because B. Slade is doing something totally different right now. Okay? People don't, people know, people don't even know B. Slade. People don't even know Tone. So I wanted to help the people understand this new generation understand that this is the artist. B. Slade Tone is the artist that is an amazing person. And this happened to him too, period. That was the reason for even bringing up Kevin Terry. This is a different generation that don't even know Kevin Terry. And, so, you know, again, church people. Hey, auntie. Church people know, some of them know who some of these people are. Church people, some of church people know who he is. Oh, Gail, I'm with you. Gail, I am with you when you say that. I am with you 1,000%, as my cousin Jai would say, 1,000%, period. Um, Auntie, I'm with you when you said it. I'm with you. Period. I just, for me. Now, as far as this Daryl Wall situation, I've already addressed that. Um, and I'm going to go address that on Instagram in just a second. Ha! <laughs> David. So tired, just so tired, just tried and through. <laughs> but yeah, as far as the, the um, Daryl Walls video, uh, people are getting really in their feelings about that too. But let me tell y'all something. Um, instead of going the route and dragging this young man, I actually was trying to just show some encouragement, okay? I need people to get out their feelings. That's what I need people to do. Get out your feelings. Get out your feelings. That's, that's what you need to do. Get out your feelings. Y'all in your feelings for what? Because I didn't put the video out here. The video was sent not only to me, but a whole bunch of people. Okay? Y'all, and, and this is the reason why I'm not on here just going off, cussing, and stuff like that. Because at some point... Exactly, a lot. I don't need no support. Okay, close your mouth then. Don't say nothing. Okay. Hey, Jamira, you don't need no love and support. Close your mouth. Don't say nothing. So uh, people are mad about that video. Why don't you get, why don't you go talk to him? Go talk to Daryl Walls and ask him, why did you post a video of you smacking lips with this young, with this man? If you feel in some type of way, if y'all feeling some type of way, go ask him. Okay? If y'all feeling some, go ask him. Don't say, ah, we love and support you. Why y'all dragging him? Why y'all talking about him? This is what we do as vloggers. We talk about what's going on. Now, as a, as a vlogger myself, I didn't drag the young man because I never want somebody to feel ashamed or embarrassed because of who they are, period. So I need y'all to just, just calm all that down because, period. Like I told y'all before, I'm saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. But you can get cussed, cussed smooth out with no problem. And I will bless you in the morning. God bless you. I don't have a problem. All of these keyboard gangsters and carrying on, baby, you ain't finna bust a grape. If I saw you in public, you wouldn't even say nothing to me. But anyways, we're not going here. I'm just saying, because I'm just saying. Praise God. Praise God. Hey, sister. I'm just saying. All these keyboard gangsters, baby, period. 
Y'all don't know the difference. Some of y'all don't know the difference between hate, hating and supporting. Some of y'all don't know the difference between just actually just talking about it and somebody that's hating on him. Between Tone and, and Daryl Walls, baby, there's been no hateration here. No jealousy here. I'm going to need y'all to calm all that down. Get out your feelings. Period. Nathaniel, I did text you back. Nugal. But either way it go, either way it go, that's just that's just where it is. Now I'm going to take my hips over here to Instagram to say what I need to say because, I, you know, all of this block ministry. Not, oh, God. Nehemiah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, and then I got one girl on my page talking about you seem jealous Oh, you hating on him. What was your point of trying to expose him? I'm like, do y'all know the difference between exposing somebody? Do y'all know the difference? Like, y'all doing too much. Like, for real. I got folks coming on my page, sharing the video, talking about Oh my God, this is a shame. We done lost another man. Girl, he didn't want you in the first place. He probably didn't even know who you was. Niece. Niece, ain't nobody, but baby, look, Daryl Walls didn't want you in the first place, daughter. Child, they didn't know what you want, girl. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, y'all. Like, seriously. Uh, Alexis, baby, when I tell you, baby, this generation, when I now you know what? I gotta say this. I gotta say this. The Bible is right when it say this. Baby, this generation is weak. Honey, I mean weak. Honey, niece, I mean weak. Honey is in their feelings. It is in their pussy willows and can all. Honey all down here in the dick pills and can all. They just real. I just weak. Just honey just sensitive. They just always getting hurt. Honey, you just say boost get bop. And, oh my god. Oh, like girl. Like I need y'all to. Hey, Miss uh, uh Mama Parker, baby, you might have to just go back in. Go back and get that dance one more time, cause maybe it's, it's it's a lie. It's just real stupid. It's real stupid. I mean, if you want to inbox me, you know, I know you work in the church. You know what I'm saying? I know you work in the national church. We can we can talk. We can we can we can we can we can wrap this up. You know what I'm saying? Real quick, real quick. But I just feel like you know everybody real. Listen, Corona got everybody sensitive. Eggs, boy, I'm telling you. Ooh, but you know what, Nehemiah? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I have straight women who are on my page who still love me regardless. They were still trying to, you know, throw me a little, <laughs> but they know me though. They know me and they respect me. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, it's just like, I don't, I don't know. It's just like, it's, it's just this, it's just this respect level, like, Everybody just get mad. Like you get mad when your favorite artist ain't what you know what you thought he was. You know, folks got mad when when they found out Chris Brown and Rihanna was out here fighting. Oh my God, I thought you were such an innocent guy. He's a human being. Everybody got stuff in situations. People get angry. People feel some type of way. People gonna cuss you out. Like seriously, it y'all people are human. Give people their humanistic nature. Stop putting people on these pedestals and carrying on. And then you acting like they're not, like they, they don't have a right to be human. Meanwhile, you get to do whatever you want to do and get three dicks in your mouth and can on, one in your butt and your coochie and can on. And, and, and you, you, that's supposed to be okay. That, that's not okay. 
Just like you do stuff, they do stuff too. You just got to know, you got you got to be disciplined and have a little order in your life and can't on. You can't be out here, be a preacher, and you pass your dick all throughout the church. That ain't going to that ain't, that ain't fly. That's not going to fly. Anyways, I just wanted to just touch on that this morning, okay? I wanted to touch on that this morning because, again, you know, apparently, and I want y'all to hear me that do follow me so when y'all see the mess, y'all can go check it because I'm not going to go I'm not gonna go looking for none of this stuff, okay? I'm not about to go looking for none of all this stuff right here, but, you know, niggas out here saying greasy stuff towards me and about me, and I'm like, one... I was out here defending Lil Daryl Walls. And even with his little sex videos, I was out here defending B. Slade and his past tense situation. You know what I'm saying? I was out here defending him because I feel like, y'all, let's show love towards everybody. Seriously. And I get it. I ain't finna go back over that again, but I'm like, I get it. But it's like people want to get in their feelings and stuff. And then, you know, B. Slade talking about Bro, you just trying to take advantage of the situation. I, and I told him and I told his so-called manager, I said, you don't like the fact that somebody used your video. You don't like the fact that somebody is talking about you. Somebody is bringing relevance or some attention to a situation or whatever the case may be. Well, go say the same thing to the church, uh, the, the church shade room. Go say the, the same thing to the shade room. Go say the same thing to TMZ. Say the same thing to the news. Say the same thing to uh uh uh, uh Wendy Williams, Wendy Wendell Orthal Williams. Go say the same. You can't you can't pick and choose who talk about your stuff. Do you know what? Just be happy. Just be happy that somebody is bringing some relevance to you. Just be happy that somebody is bringing some relevance to you. Because if it wasn't for the walls, y'all, now, 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 let's, let's talk facts. I need y'all to put facts. Just put hashtag facts. If it wasn't for the walls group, if it wasn't for Daryl Walls, this video getting out, if it wasn't for the video getting out, we wouldn't even be talking about Tone right now. Y'all hashtag facts. If we were not, if that video hadn't a surface, if that video hadn't a surface and the church folks and everybody wasn't going over there supporting him, nobody who remembers would have never said anything about Tone. Niece, am I correct? Because there is a, there is a, there is a, there is a generation of us that grew up listening or not grew up, but we were in that generation when Tony had music. I saw that video too with his sister, the Walls Group sister. I saw that too. So it's like, just be happy that somebody's saying your name and that in saying your name, right? In saying your name, that the love and the support from that generation and the love and the support from this new generation is pouring into you. I'm quite sure you didn't gain some more followers. I'm quite sure some people that came to your page and wanted to be there and show you so much love. Stop, stop, stop. And it's not hating, that's not the word. Stop being dumb, okay? Stop being dumb. Stop being dumb and acting a fool 
when people really do care and love you. Can I say that one more time for the saints in the back by the exit door? Stop being dumb and acting a fool with people that are out here showing support and loving you. Because if you don't, here, here we go, y'all. Here we go. If you don't want the attention, period, Deshaun, all I'm going to say is stop with the misdirected anger, misguided, misdirected anger. If you don't want the love, you don't want the support that people are going, that people are sending towards you, don't say nothing at all. If, if you weren't pressed, if you weren't pressed about this whole situation, you would have never said anything. That's facts. If you were not pressed and in your feelings, you would not have said anything at all. And that's just the truth. Now, y'all. This is a very calm version, okay? Now, I don't know how these niggas going to act when I go over here on Instagram. But anyways, I'm about to go over here on Instagram. I'll holler at y'all later, okay? Bye. Make sure y'all hit that cash app. What's up, y'all? Hey, so I just... Um, hold on. I just was over on uh, Facebook just finishing up this whole little conversation that I'm going to have here. So what I want to do is say this and I'm not I'm not giving no more wind to it. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. Um and this goes for um this goes for the the shade room church anybody else who's posted this thing period okay um a lot of people are are on coming on my page as if I've done something wrong to somebody and something. Now mind you this ain't got nothing to do with what Andrew Nisha Carter will. This ain't that. Because uh, I would read that whole Elm Day with my eyeballs closed. Because you just pick it. You retarded and you like to pick. But this is not that. Um, as far as I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this B Slade and I'm going to do this Darren Walls thing. Because I don't know if the message is getting mixed up. Hey, y'all. I don't know if the message is getting mixed up. But I'm just, I'm going to come on because, you know, you got people coming on the page talking about I'm exposing Daryl Walls. But y'all, 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 y'all black people don't read. I celebrated the young man. Somebody screenshotted my video and sent it to Kaya. And in essence, they sent it to the Shade Room Church. I celebrated the young man because what we, what we don't get, especially in the gay community, is... We don't get the love and the support because there's so much hate. So instead of downing this young man, I said, let me celebrate him. Let me celebrate you for just your love. However this video got out, whatever. We ain't going to do that today. However this video got out, sir, I celebrate you. I show you love. I want you to be happy, period. All of this bumping of the gums, talking about, Oh, you're jealous of him. Oh, you'll never be on his level. Niece, are you pressed? Hold on. La mama. La mama, let me tell you something. Because I inboxed you. And you act like you can't respond. But you're going to come on my page and I wish you would shut up. What is with y'all? And y'all, y'all got misdirected anger. You got misdirected anger in Karen on, and you over here thumping your lips in Karen on like somebody got a problem with Daryl Walls. Why don't you go talk to your friend? Because that was a whole stunt. Ma'am. You want some attention, niece? Daughter, you want some attention? Oh, my God. Anyways, look, girl. Uh, so here's the thing, y'all. Here's the thing. It was only love shown towards this young man. It was only love show, to, shown towards this young man. And I shared the video just like everybody else shared the video. Okay? This is what we do as commentators. 
We talk about stuff. We talk about stuff and we just go on. But what I'm not going to do, what I'm not going to do is sit out here and act like I'm the cause of all this stuff going on. No, this is not it. That ain't it. At the end of the day, instead of instead of one man dragging another man, I say, y'all, let's just celebrate him. Because the last thing that this boy needs is to walk in his truth, right? To walk in his truth. And then for people to make him shame for walking in his truth. So niece, did you get that? Or do you not understand? Or are you hard of hearing? Or are you too young to comprehend what the hell is going on? Girl, you, baby, you too young to understand. It's okay. It's, it's, it's okay. You, you don't understand. You don't understand. That's why I said on my, on my Facebook Live, baby, there's a whole generation of people that are real sensitive. There's a whole generation of people that are real sensitive. They don't hear nothing. They don't hear nothing. They just in their dicks and they pusses a can on and they real sensitive. Baby, why are you getting sensitive? Why are you getting sensitive, niece? And why are you talking for Daryl them? Girl, ain't nobody talking about you. Oh, uh, anyways, now let's go talk about B. Slade. Let's go talk about B. Slade. Now, B. Slade is out here making posts about the Shade Room Church and me talking about, you know, we trying to down him and drag him. And Girl, Shawnee. Girl, I, you know what? If if you weren't dealing with what you're dealing with right now, I would let you come on and read these girls because it, I, I just can't. It, it's it's I, I, first of all, I'm not about to fight with no keyboard gangsters. Let me just say that I'm not about to fight with no keyboard gangsters, baby. You will never see me in person. You will never see me in real life. I'm going to say this one more time. And the next time I see your raggedy behind comments up here going crazy, I'm just going to block you because I think it's stupid. Like you, you, you're not, you're not coming on trying to even understand. And I don't even think you watch. You just saw Daryl's picture there, video there. Baby, are you really getting sensitive right now? Oh, you just saw his picture in his video and you went there. That's it. And I'm just like, I'm telling y'all. Anyways, y'all, I say what I need to say. I, baby, I can't, I can't, I can't keep going. I, I can't, I can't keep going addressing somebody whose ears are closed, who is already coming in with a death ear. I'm not about to do that. That's to me, that's ignorance, right? To me, that's ignorance. Period. Anyways, B Slade. B Slade is over here talking about the shade room in the church. First of all, like I told B. Slade in his inbox, I said, I'm only talking about the situation because they line up together. B. Slade said, I did not tag him. In actuality, I did tag him. I did tag him. Matter of fact, I had tried to contact him a long time ago to talk about the situation. Period. I did. And he's saying, oh, um, you, you just you took my video and you're using my name for clout, sir. Y'all, And I, I'm really I'm going to really say this, y'all. And I need y'all who are because Instagram is where the young generation is. But period, you know, a lot of us who are YouTube Facebookers, we've been around here for a minute. Nolan, are you still on here? There's a generation of people that do not know who B. Slade is. There's a generation of people that do not know who B. Slade is. There's a generation of people that never had the chance to experience his music because right now he's doing something totally different. But there is a generation of us who grew up with Lord, make me over, make me over again. There's a generation of people that grew up with that. 
And this new generation knows nothing about that. And for the simple fact, the only reason, the only reason we're talking about this right now, the only reason we're talking about this right now is because of Dar the Daryl Walls video. church is being so readily loving and accepting and compassionate, but y'all were not as compassionate to be slayed. Now, even though that was a different time, that was a different time. This young generation do, does not know who Tone is because Tone is the, is the, the, the name that carried all that music. Tone is the stage name that everybody knew and everything like that. When you went off the scene and then came back as B. Slade, then nobody knew who that was. They didn't know who that was. So when that when Daryl Wall's video came out, I was like, you know what? Let me remind the people of B. Slade, a.k.a. Tone. Let me remind the people of B. Slade, a.k.a. Tone, and how great of a gift he is, not was, he is because he is still alive. All of this misdirected, frustrated anger, you're out here saying, oh, my video was about grief. Sir, no, it was not. No, it was not. And then you tell me on your inbox, oh, I don't want no support. I didn't want no attention. I was just out here talking about grief. Sir, no, you were not. No, you were not. No, you were not. You was on there talking about how the people did you wrong and they don't even know what you was going through and all of that stuff like that. Y'all get what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, the reason, and, and, and you know, Nolan, that's all I'm saying. Like, come on now. Come on now. We're not going to play. We're not going to play. And I left my videos up there. And he talking about I didn't edit my videos because the videos aren't saying what he said. Sir, that is a straight stream record. That is a straight stream record. I didn't edit anything. I didn't do anything. Only thing I did was dropped it in a video. Boom. Uh, finished it and put it up there. That was it. Stop trying to turn a, a positive into a negative. If you did not want the love and the support from the people, why say anything? If you, if you were not mad, hurt, because everybody was loving on Daryl, if you were not hurt and, and irritated because everybody was loving on Daryl and didn't give you the same love, why say anything? Why, why, why bring up the fact that the gospel industry or whatever didn't give you the same love that they're giving Daryl? One, this is, a, this is a different day and time. This is a different day and time. And I only made you relevant. I only made you relevant because, again, you are an amazing artist, an amazing gift. Do y'all hear my words right now? Do y'all hear my words? I have never changed. I have been saying this over and over again. You are an amazing gift that the church body, the body of Christ has neglected and tried to kill and throw away. That's what I said. That's what I said. And for anybody for anybody who would take what I said and misconstrue it as jealousy, as hate, baby, I feel sorry for y'all. I feel sorry for y'all that y'all are so sensitive and weak-minded that this is how you feel. And then for you, B. Slade, to turn around and block me 
and then say that I'm doing whatever to you. I'm like, sir. Sir. Don't, girl, ain't nobody checking for you, niece. Sweet daughter, ain't nobody checking for you, niece. When was the last time you put out a platinum album? Now I'm going to go there for real now. When was the last time that your album charted the charts? When was the last time that you went platinum like your music did before? When was the last time? That should tell you that you really aren't that relevant, sir. But you walking around here mad because somebody brought you up. This is the silly stuff I'm talking about. This is the silly stuff I'm talking about. Maybe if I had a million followers, you wouldn't have a problem. Maybe if I had a, a million followers, maybe if I had a million followers, you wouldn't have a problem with me showing you some love. But just because my Instagram page just has 28, 29,000, 30,000 followers, it's subscribers or whatever, then you know what I'm saying like, sir, we on this, we right there at the same level. You got what 70, I got almost 30. So girl, we right there. It's okay. Niece, just be happy that somebody's showing you some love. Niece. Girl, be happy somebody's showing you some love. And that somebody is not dogging you because some because you're gay or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm confused. I'm confused. Nigga be out here sucking dick each and every day doing homosexual activities, but they're not gay. I don't understand. I don't understand. Y'all, it's, it's a confusement for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a confusement for me. Is y'all confused? I'm confused. Because he said on his page, I'm not, I never said I was a homosexual. Okay, 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 uh, whatever. Like, who cares? Baby, everybody doing stuff nowadays. It's okay. It is, it is legit okay. It's legit okay. I just want to do that today. A lot, I just want to do that today because I'm just like, I just, I, I'm just like, it is what it is. It is what it is, y'all. Um, I'm sure Blobfish gonna have something else to say. It is what it is, y'all. I, I, listen here, that's one fool. He gets, he gets a little piece of attention once or twice every year for me. Cause I, I just, you know, I just like being able to stir that part of me up and go smooth off on him because I'm like, sir, you seriously are a waste of time. You seriously are a waste of time. And for y'all folks that are going on my page, still bumping y'all dick suckers and up here talking about, you exposed Daryl Wall. Baby, no, I didn't. Niece, no, I didn't. Thank you, Terrell. I didn't expose Daryl Walls. I don't know how many times I got to say this, but I'm not saying this no more. I didn't expose Daryl Walls. My video is just happened to be surfacing all over the place. And when I say my video, I'm talking about the video where I was holding up my iPad and y'all saw these old sexy soup coolers right here. Nice. And oh, so I just want to touch on that and let that be what that's going to be and everything like that. Um, if y'all need anything else, y'all can always go catch this on Spotify. Y'all can go catch... The full version on Spotify and the full version on um, <laughs> thank you, Jay, um, and on YouTube, okay? Like, seriously. And as far as um, the Walls group and everything else go, listen, y'all. Um, let me tell y'all something. I, I I think you guys are an amazing singing group. Can't take a, can't take that away from y'all. Little mamas, you own. 
Is you still listening to me? Why you want to come on here and get mad? Are you still listening? You didn't sit up right here and did all that typing, being mad at me, and not one time did you hear me say anything derogatory or negative about Daryl Walls, about the Walls group. I, man, wow. Listen, I just want y'all to understand, baby, there is no hateration over here. Understand that real quick. There's no hateration here. None. None at all. And I'm not going to let people come on to say negative things. To say negative things because there is nothing negative that you can say about the Walls group. They're amazing. They're amazing, period. They're human, period. Now, what y'all need to do is stop recording stuff. Stop recording stuff. Elena, I'm trying to tell you. That's all I did. Call for universal forgiveness. That's all I did. That's all I did. For those of you all who don't understand that, listen, let me also say this for y'all. I am a vlogger that talks about things that have gone on in the church and people being misused and abused. I have not extorted anything from anybody. Exactly. I always show love until people think they can play in my face. You better say that again. Nah, 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 nah. That's the truth. That's the truth right there. Are you not finna, you not finna play in my face, niece? No, ma'am. No, ma'am, you're not going to play in my face. So, anyways, um, I've always talked about this stuff and everything. For a lot of y'all that think I'm being messy or I'm jealous or I'm hating, I'm sorry, baby. You're probably new and you probably don't even know who I am. But, baby, you probably don't even have the time or energy to go back and check the Rolodex. But, baby, I've been out here helping people and, and defending people that have been broke, battered, and abused and misused. Okay, I took them licks. That's okay, though. Anywho, anywho, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Talk to you later, okay?